predictions for your for, for, for your old, you know, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Portugal, Belgium, look, they're all there. Will a minnow win it this year? I doubt it. Will England win it? Well, you know, it's the same old story. We're hopeful, but, you know, uh, if we meet Germany in the semi-final and it goes for penalties, there's only one result, you know? <laughs> uh, so, um, at the moment, Italy, just in, a last-minute equaliser in, in uh, five seconds to go. Is that a signal that Italy are going to go all the way? Um, mm. For me, for me, although, I, you know, I'd love my home country, England, to win, I, I'm looking at Spain or Italy to lift the trophy this 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 time around, you know, a, a lot of players. I mean, not only Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, he's look, he's been a, probably the the greatest of all time. Yeah. You know, him and Lionel Messi. Um, but you know, he's 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 thirty nine now. And he's probably past his best, with all due respect. But he still has a huge ego. He has a huge ego. He likes to present him well on the pitch. But unfortunately, sometimes you know, as you're coming towards the end of the career, your career, you get a bit frustrated. Because the legs won't do what they did when he when you were 21 or 22. And of course, when minnows come along like Georgia and beat, you know, one of the co-favorites, Portugal, then it's a little bit of a, a disappointment. So and and the thing is, when when things aren't going your way, you start to get a little bit more aggressive and you start to think mentally about you know the game and your behavior and everything else. And at the moment, Ronaldo looks a frustrated figure. He looks a frustrated figure, but look, this man can come back. Yeah. We all we've all written him off in the past, and it wouldn't surprise me in the in in the group in the last sixteen. We hear a lot more about Cristiano Ronaldo, and maybe he will have the last laugh. I think it, it's what we call football overload. You mm. know, we've had we've had a lot of um, we had the FIFA World in Qatar, uh, European Champions League, the Europa League, and now um, and now the Euros, and and the season's just finished. The, the new, the new fixtures are out for the remaining season. And I think a lot of people have come to the conclusion that, wow, this is another competition. And it's not been as impressive as previous. I mean, Euro 2020 was a massive success, yeah. full of interest. But this time, for some reason, it's very slow to get off the ground. And even some of the favourite teams, they've been underperforming. And, um, you know, it's really struggling. Let's hope the momentum, as we get into the, um, the last 16 Teams, let's hope that the momentum picks up and it becomes very interesting. Look, I'm sure it will. All football competitions go through a dip and they come up, come in at the other end.